Hey everybody, today I'm just going to do a quick over overview of the uh, Craftsman Professional Aluminum Motorcycle ATV Jack. It is a 1,500-pound, uh, rated at 1,500-pound jack for your motorcycles, ATVs, off-road, anything pretty much. <laughs> anything that can fit on this, I guess, except for a car, I would suppose. But I'm just going to do a few quick things here that you don't see many videos about this on the internet, but it is a pretty popular motorcycle lift from Craftsman. It's also known as the Yellow Jack. They also have the Red Jack available, which a lot of people don't like as much as the Yellow Jack. It's give or take. Some people like it more, some people don't. I saw this has a lot of good reviews on the internet on their website, more than the Red one did, and so I jumped at it. I got it around Black Friday, so I mean Cyber Monday, so I got a pretty good deal then. Uh, Sears card on top of that gave me an additional 8% off. I think it was 25% off and then 8% off on top of that, I believe. I'm not really sure. But there's a the box it comes comes in. Uh, it comes in exactly what it looks like. Uh, isn't wrapped in anything special. Isn't inside another box. Just has the yellow, I mean not yellow, the white thick plastic cables around it to stop it from being opened. And once you clip those off, you can see where they uh, were going on both sides. Once those are off, it just opens right up. And with this jack, you get, obviously, the handle, which goes in this end. Ah. Which goes in right there. And just like that. But it has this little lip around it that you can actually clip in there. Uh, you pull this thing out and it gets set in there so it won't come out. And it uh, will be set pretty good in there. Oh, it's on the other side. Gonna get this thing off first. Sorry, I should have taken this off first. But this little clip thing with a wing nut does come in the box just like that. As you can see, right there, that little spin nut. Not really spin nut, you have to pull it, get it out and pull it again and put it in so it gets all the way in there so then it won't come out uh, so you guys can't see that but it won't come out then take out you just pull it and just like that it comes out what else it comes with pretty much is not much it comes with uh you know user's manual read it it doesn't do much it doesn't tell you much so you're on it whatever and it also comes with two uh, ratchet style clamps to uh, strap down your motorcycle, anything ATV, and you strap one end here. It tells you what I looked on there in the manual. So you strip, strap one side to the handle here, then the other side, you want it to go over your bike or whatever you want to do to the bar right here, and. It also comes with these two extenders, extensions. Take them out, put them in, you know. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward stuff. I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet because my bike's in storage and I'm hoping that I'll be able to store my motorcycle on this during the winter also. And another reason I got this, as I'll show you in a few minutes, is that it's able to get lifted up on the support brackets down here and then you can relieve the pressure on the uh, cylinder the hydraulic so that you won't bust a seal during the off season and then you know you come out one morning you go in your shed wherever you got your bike and you can see hydraulic fluid everywhere and most likely your bike on the ground because once that fails it'll just drop straight down but 
I'm gonna do a few things with it, show you guys uh, the different limits of it, up and down, and I'll do that right now. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna do some quick measurements of the jack for any of you guys that just want to know some things about it. Uh, the length of the pads on this is about 12 and a half inches. And I believe it's 12 and a half across the other way too. If I remove the other support or extension, it's actually a little bit longer. No, oh, it's actually about 12 and a half inches, the same. And for those of you that might be interested about the height of this, is about three and a half inches off the ground without the adapter plate in. And then with the adapter plate in, Going to be looking at about five and a half inches, six, possibly depending, because this is sunken in carpet. And then I'm going to jack it up to the first. There, you just heard it click into the first relief where you can back off the hydraulic pressure and it will uh, sit down on. And then with this, about six and a half inches. And then with this in, it's another about eight and a half inches there. Yep. Then up one more, you'll hear it clicking again. Right there, back it off, it'll sag just a little bit. And this is up to about, sorry. Ten and a half inches off the ground, then with the extension in. I'll get to got thirteen and a half should be. Oh twelve and a half inches. Am I right with that? Twelve and a half? Yeah. Then up into the final. No, I don't know if it is final actually. Nope. To the third. You can back it off again. You heard it click in. Yeah, 13 and a half inches. And then with the extensions in, about 15, 15 and a half inches. And then to the final height. Where you can back it off is right there. I believe that's the highest that those will go, where you can back off the pressure and you'll be set for long storage. 16 and a half inches with this adapter plate on, then about 15 inches, 14 and a half without the plates on. But mine's in carpet, so it's sinking down a little bit because it's pretty heavy. Uh, I'm not sure if it goes any. Nope. Well, you can go higher like that just on the hydraulic pressure without the backups holding it in place and like that as high as it can go is about 17 inches with just that then with the plates. Oh. 18 and a half, I'm guessing. Yeah, 18 and a half, 19 inches with the adapter plates. And then to uh, let this down, you just, as you can see here, you just turn it counterclockwise and it will start to go down. But this has got the plates in here, which I'll try to show you guys, right in there, you can see, uh, I'm zooming but it won't focus, there you go, you can kind of see, let's focus on everything close. 
Uh, screw it. At the very bottom, right here, yeah, right there. And then to get it off, you lift this handle up into the stopper right there, turn it counterclockwise again, and it'll go all the way down. And there it just is getting engaged, so it's telling you it's all the way down. Then you can retighten it, and that's it. It's a pretty simple jack to operate with. And uh, another thing is the back wheels on these are the coaster style, all aluminum, I'm guessing, steel, swivel. But in contrast, the front wheels are not, you cannot swivel. They're big cast aluminum steel or whatnot. And uh, when spring comes around and I change the tires on my bike, I'll be doing a video of that. And that's the front bar, goes across. I'll do, do, be doing another video of how this works on the bike, how stable it is and everything. And yep. There it is, it's pretty simple to use, pretty smooth. The Yellow Jack by Craftsman. If you guys have any other questions or anything you guys want to know, just leave a comment, message, anything like that. And I'll respond. If you guys want to see me lifting my bike with it, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> wait until spring. I want to change my tires and clean the chain and everything. But yep, this is it. The Craftsman uh, Professional 1500 pound motorcycle jack. Yellow Jack, as it's known. Yep. Any questions, just leave a comment. Thanks.